Hey there Wargamers and welcome back to another War Games Delivered video. In this video, we're going to be finishing off Candy from Malifaux. Let's get started. Alright, so picking up right where we left off from yesterday's video, we are going to uh, go ahead and just start out with a layer of basing glue over the entirety of the base here. Uh, I did uh, go ahead and pick the mini off of the base. I had her lightly glued on there to paint her. Um, it's uh, kind of a better option to use like a piece of cork or uh, something to pin the mini on to paint, um, but didn't have any available at the time. I, uh, I just recently moved uh, about a month ago, so all of my <laughs> hobby stuff is still kind of getting uh, reorganized and uh, go gone through. So um, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and start off with the uh, basing glue and add a one of the battlefield rocks on here. And then we'll go ahead and move into uh, my mixture of uh, it's the battlefield ground um, and a couple of the army painter uh, grasses as well and this creates a really nice even kind of uh, base for the entire model um, kind of has an even uh, amount of grass and brown battleground to uh, sort of spread things around and uh, create a little bit of different textures and interest on the base really quickly and easily uh, so we won't be painting this this will just be entirely uh, how it looks um, out of the box and uh, yeah over here I know it's a little bit out of frame but we're just basically taking all of uh, the excess and putting it on top shaking it off and repeating the process until you can't really see any more glue and uh, you'll want to press it down just a tad with your fingers um, just to really solidify that first layer of uh, our uh, battle of the uh, battlefield rocks And this video is pretty much just to show that uh, all of the Army Painter stuff looks great, even unpainted. Uh, and you can kind of mix things together and uh, create a really nice and easy basing solution for, uh, you know, a lot of your minis. If you want to do a lot of batch basing or even some of your character models, it looks great on them as well. So this is one of my uh, semi-characters, I guess you would call it, in uh, this game, uh, Malifaux. So um, I wanted to give her a kind of special base, so we'll go ahead and... Uh, solidify this, push it down a little bit, and uh, we can always go back in, add a little bit more glue on top if you need to, and just kind of hit those corners and uh, add a little bit more detail in there. And sometimes I like to take out a uh, sculpting tool and just kind of play around with the base uh, and the texture that's on it as much as possible until I'm happy with it. And once you've given that about 45 minutes to an hour to dry, we'll go ahead and switch over to uh, one of the grass tufts here. And we'll just dot the bottom with a little bit of our plastic glue. Uh, you can use super glue, plastic glue, uh, both those will work fine. I kind of avoid the basing glue with this uh, because it doesn't really uh, adhere to it as well as uh, the other two glues do. So I kind of place it like that and then just take the uh, tweezers and poke it into the spot that I like it. Um, this is the best way that I've found to really get it to stick to where you want it and also blend in with the texture of the base. And with the Army Painter Super Glue, you only really need about five minutes for that to dry. And uh, here we'll go ahead and add a, a little bit of razor wire as well. You don't need too much of this. I'm just going to cut about a couple inches off of this. And uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it around a brush and that is a quick and easy way to get a nice uh, sort of bent kind of barbed wire razor wire effect. And as you can see here, you just take a very thin brush and uh, just wrap it around a couple of times and hold it in place and it should solidify where it is. It's, uh, it is metal so it will kind of hold where you place it, just kind of have to take it and push it together a little bit like that, kind of kind of spring it together a little bit and uh, you should have a very quick and easy um, barbed wire kind of effect. And with something small like this I always like to kind of fit it into place before I glue it down so just kind of check that area next to the rock there and we'll go ahead and take the super glue and try to kind of glue a line against the uh, bottom here. If our, uh, our glue will want to come out here, there we go. And uh, yeah, so you'll just want to kind of glue a little bit in each spot, uh, just in the same area, if that makes any sense. So 
just kind of press it down. Uh, sometimes you kind of have to work it and twist it around a little bit until it really sticks to a place that it wants to be, but once it gets there, it will kind of stay in that spot. And once you've given that glue about uh, 10 minutes to dry, we'll go ahead and switch over to a couple of paints here. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, Dry Rust, which is one of uh, the Army Painter's uh, better effect paints, one of my favorites. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just kind of dot this on the uh, barbed wire here. And this will just create a nice, worn, rusty look on the uh, barbed wire that we have. Just go ahead and keep adding that. Uh, you may want to thin out your paint quite a bit here. You don't want it to run onto the base here. We're just trying to get paint onto uh, the metal part and that's it. So be very careful, use a very small brush and just take your time with this step. And with this, you don't need too much of this. You just kind of need to uh, stifle it onto the metal area until you're satisfied with the result. Uh, make sure you get the uh, part that you glued down as well. It looks better when the, the part that's hitting the base, uh, it has a little bit more rust to it as well. So keep that in mind while you're doing this. And then uh, we'll switch over to uh, gluing candy on the base and uh, just doing a quick uh, matte black line over the rim of the base. And like we did with the barbed wire before, we're going to go ahead and take the model. Uh, she has been varnished, so uh, that's why I'm okay with picking her up with my fingers here. Um, and just kind of fitting it where we want it to be on the base before we glue it down. I, I recommend doing that with any piece, uh, just to kind of get a, a general idea of where you're going to put it before you actually put the, uh, you know, the glue down and, and glue it onto the base. And with that and a uh, simple matte black finish on the rim of the base, we'll go ahead and finish up this three-part series on Candy from Malifaux. If you guys like a uh, more uh, broken down version of content like this, uh, where it's you know a couple videos spanning over uh, the week, please let me know. I'll keep this format up. And uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching our content and supporting our channel. We really appreciate it. Um, please feel free to check out the top link in the description to take part in the giveaway. Uh, we have giveaways attached to all of our videos, um, and we uh, have all of our videos ending on Sundays now, uh, the following Sundays that the uh, videos premiere. So, as always guys, thanks for watching, and happy working.